Hello everybody, welcome back to Tin Man Collections and today we finally got another knife review to talk about. Alright, and this one is the Hunter's Choice Professional uh, Hunting Knife. And the number, item number is SKMX1. And it says Hunter's Choice right there on the side of the booby right there, if you can see it. But on the box it says it's made out of a surgical stainless steel extra heavy gauge rugged triple riveted construction so this thing's triple riveted so it ain't going to break apart anytime soon but anyway and it's got a rosewood handle which I like and uh, it's a solid full tang construction so it's not going to like I said like if you start whacking this thing it ain't going to break off on like a, one of those cheapo rat tail tanks and it comes with this custom sheath which is a little bit better than the mother ones I showed you Guys, like it ain't crappy. It's more like a, I don't know, we call it like a Skinner knife or anything. But this is another one of my dad's knives out of his collection. And uh, here's the box for it. And I think it says on the blade. Yeah, it says Japan by Maxim. I, I don't know what Maxim is, but anyway, so people that made these knives, but anyway. I do love that finger troll right there, so if you are going to use it, you can hook up right here and use it to carve like a tin spike or something with it, or hold down when you're skinning deer. But this is an awesome knife, in my opinion. I told you guys I'm more of a fan of the, the bigger buoy knives, but this one is uh, perfect right here. Now, I don't know if you would use this as a self-defense weapon, but I would, but anyway. But and make sure it's tight. It's tight in the sheath, so you go like this, dangle. It's not coming out, but anyway, it's tight in there. And they got rivets holding the sheath together with some stitching. Makes the punch and snaps. But overall, it is a nice looking knife. But this is one I'm not going to use for like you know bashing stuff with. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I don't know uh, what type of surgical steel this is, but anyway, that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye.